Hello friends, welcome to the lecture series in mechanical vibrations. So today we will be starting with the first lecture and this will be just an introduction to mechanical vibrations. So before we start with what is there in this lecture, I request you to please subscribe to this channel Mechanical Engineering Tutorials and also follow our Instagram and Twitter handles. The links are in the description. So in this chapter or in this lecture we will be seeing an overall view of what is the content in mechanical vibrations. So here we start with the introduction. So here the first chapter we will be learning about the definitions in mechanical vibrations. So here the definitions like the periodic motion, what is cycle, the time period, frequency, amplitude, natural frequency, damping, then resonance, phase difference, degrees of freedom, simple harmonic motions. So this we will be seeing what are different definitions. Also we will be seeing the causes of vibrations, the types of vibrations, simple harmonic motion, what is beats phenomenon, then harmonic analysis. The next chapter is the undamped free vibrations. So in this we will be seeing the derivation of differential equations for undamped free vibration by the energy method and Newton's method. Then we will be seeing the natural frequency of free transverse vibrations, the natural frequency of beam carrying uniformly distributed load, then torsional vibrations, torsional vibrations of single rotor system, spring combinations and its equivalent stiffness. So these are the two chapters. So coming to the next chapter. So next chapter is the damped free vibrations. So again here also we will be seeing what is single degree of freedom system. Then what are different types of damping. Then we will also see differential equation of damped free vibration. Like how we had seen the differential equation of undamped free vibration in the previous chapter. So here we will be seeing the differential equations of damped free vibration. We will be seeing the logarithmic decrement, then response of viscous damped system in three cases that is under damped, critically damped and over damped. This is about the third chapter. So in the fourth chapter we will be seeing the forced vibrations. So in this we will be seeing what is forced vibration, then single degree of system again here for the fourth forced vibration, then steady state solution with viscous damping due to harmonic force. So an external harmonic force is applied to the system. So uh, that we will be seeing here in the steady state solutions. Then we will be seeing what is magnification factor. Then we will be seeing the unbalancing of rotating and reciprocating components. Also we will be seeing the vibration isolation and transmissivity ratio and vibration transmissibility due to base excitation we will be seeing in this forced vibration. So coming to the next chapter that is chapter number 5. So here we will be seeing about the vibration measuring instruments. So first we will have the introduction about what these vibration measuring instruments are. Then in particular we will be seeing about what is vibrometer and accelerometer. So how does this works and what is the driving or governing equation of a vibrometer and accelerometer. Here we will be also seeing the frequency measuring instruments like how the vibration and accelerometer measures the acceleration. Similarly there are instruments that measure the frequency. Then we will be seeing what is critical and whirling of shaft that is critical speed of the shaft and whirling of shaft. So here we will be seeing in vibration measuring instruments. The sixth chapter here we will be again seeing the systems with two degrees of freedom. So in previous lectures or the previous chapters it will be focusing mainly on the single degrees of freedom system. So here we will be seeing systems with two de degrees of freedom system that is denoted as a DOF. So here we will be seeing in the introduction what is two degrees freedom of system. Then the principal and normal modes of vibrations will be also seeing what is coordinate coupling, generalized and principal coordinates, free vibrations in terms of initial condition. So this will be the chapter number 6. So in chapter number 7 that is continuous system we will be seeing what does this continuous system means. 
So continuous systems are the systems like a string or rods or beams or bars. These are all as continuous systems. So in these systems, we'll be seeing how the string vibrates. So the expression for vibrating of the string. So there are differential equations and which we'll be solving to determine the vibrating string. Then also we have longitudinal vibrations of rods or bars. So that we'll be seeing. These are the derivations. And using the equations, we'll be solving numerical problems also. Then we'll be seeing here torsional vibration of rods, then Euler's equation of beams. So this will constitute in the continuous system. So coming to the last chapter. So here we will be basically seeing different numerical methods for multi degrees of freedom system. So here these systems will have multiple degrees of freedoms. Like here we had the single degrees of freedom and we have seen now what are two degrees of freedom. So here they will be having three, four, five, so on. So there will be multiple degrees of freedom systems. So in that case, you have to determine the natural frequency of the system. So for that, we will be having different numerical methods. So the first we will see what is this numerical methods and what is multi degrees of freedom in the introduction part. Then we will see what are influence coefficients. Then in influence coefficients, we have Maxwell's reciprocal theorem. And using that, we will be determining the natural frequency of a system by denoting some influence coefficients on that system. Then the second method is the Dunkerley's method. Then we have the Rayleigh's method. Then we will see orthogonality principle and using this orthogonality principle, we have the matrix iteration method. And then there is Holzer's method and Stodola's method. So these will be the different methods which will be uh, seen in the numerical methods for multi degrees of freedom system. So all these chapters apart from theory constitutes some numerical problems also. So here we will have sufficient number of lectures covering the entire curriculum of mechanical vibrations for UG course. So here basically I'll be making use of the textbook mechanical vibrations by VP Singh. So this will be our major textbook and based on this textbook we will be conducting these lectures. So welcome to the video lecture series in mechanical vibrations. So in the next lecture, we will be starting with the chapter number one, that is introduction. And over there, we will be seeing all those, uh, what are different definitions or the terms used in vibrations. We will be also seeing what are the causes of vibration, then types of vibrations, all these theoretical aspects. Then we will see what is simple harmonic motion, then beats phenomenon and harmonic analysis. And there will be some numerical examples in this. So in the next lecture, we will be starting with the chapter number one. So thank you for patient listening. So please like and share this video with your friends and please subscribe to our channel mechanical engineering tutorials. Please like our Facebook page mechanical engineering tutorials and also follow us on Instagram and Twitter. The links are in the description. Thank you.